Okay, Salties. Clear cleaner, which is called Captain Clears. It's a two-part cleaner. One's a polish and the other one's a cleaner. So we've got a clear here today. It's got a bit of uh, gel coat dirt runoff from the sea. Um, and we're just going to go through the two-part cleaning process and uh, bring her up run good as new. Okay, step one to cleaning the clears. We're just going to give it a quick hose down, get any grime off it, and then we're going to give them a wipe down so that when we do go to clean it and polish it, there's no grime left on there that could scratch the clears. Give it a clean inside and out as well. Second part of the step one is just to give the clears a bit of a wipe down, just so that there's no uh, anything dirty on there that can scratch it when you go to clean it. In your Captain Clears polish and protection kit, you get your cleaner and your polisher and a whole bunch of microfiber wipes. Now, with the two-part process, obviously do the clean first, uh, wipe on, wipe off, and same again with the polish. So we're gonna do that now. And we're gonna spray the whole clears. Spray on, wipe off. When I do this, I, I like to put my microfiber towel in quarters and then do a section, turn it over, fold it over, and so on. Just in case if there is any dirt left on there or on there, it won't scratch. It's always good just to use long strokes. So it doesn't scratch. I tend to find if you do circular motion with clears, you can sort of tend to see where you cleaned in the sunlight in the morning or in the afternoon. So part two, give it a shake. Same again, but this time I'm gonna put it on the microfiber and then rub it in, lather it into the microfiber cloth. So you've got plenty on there. And then once again, just do longer strokes. So with the Captain Clear's protective polish, it's got the hydrophobic um, properties in it. And so what that does is that when you're out in the ocean, um, the salt water hits the clears and the hydrophobic polish that's in it um, repels the uh, salt water off your clears and uh, which in turn it gives you um, a bit of visibility when you're out there in the high seas. So um, be generous with this as well because it does tend to soak in quite well. Yeah, with this protective one, this is now with Captain Clears, it's uh, it's not so much as a restorer, but a, more of a protectant, and um, you will get long lasting longevity out of it. So, don't expect if you've got some serious scratches on your clears that this will fix them because it'll just protect them and keep them the same age that they already are once you put it on. Okay, next step is to clear off the uh, residue from what I just put on there. And you can really get into it this time because you don't want any streaks or anything. Because there is a film on there now. You just want to get it right into the clears and you get them nice and shiny. Definitely do this in the shade. Don't let it set for too long. 
otherwise it will cake and it will be a lot harder. We've done this process on this side, repeated on the other side. Obviously the other side's gonna be more important because that's exterior and more open to the uh, elements of the sun and the sea. So, right, back to part one, but on the other side, we grab our old rag, still look pretty clean, the clears. So I'm still gonna stick with that rag because it still has product on there, but I will just turn it inside out.